Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a quick little tutorial on how to make this like box file folder thingamabob. So anyway, you're gonna need an eight and a half by 11. You are going to leave the 11 inch side as is. On the eight and a half inch side, you are going to cut that down to seven inches. Then on the long 11 inch side, you are going to score at five and one fourths inch and five and three fourths inch. And that leaves you a half inch um, kind of like spine gusset thing and I'm just folding creasing on the lines and we are done with that sheet of paper Next you'll need another eight and a half by eleven or I have scrap paper for this so you will need it um, Eight and a half inches long on your long side and then on your short side You're gonna cut it down to four and three-fourths of an inch So I'm doing that right here so now you leave that paper where it is and we're gonna use our score tool you are going to score at one-fourth of an inch and then you're gonna score at three fourths of an inch. So I did my long side. Now on your two short sides, you're gonna do the same exact thing. You're gonna score at one fourth of an inch, three fourths of an inch, and repeat on the other side as well. Now you're just going to fold on all of your creases that you made. So I've already creased them all. Now you are going to cut on the corner an L shape or a Tetris style shape. It's either a backwards L or L depending on what side you're on. Right here I'm just cutting it. You can cut however you want as long as those two little rectangles are gone on the outside and it looks like a step once you're done, like a staircase. And you're gonna do the same exact thing to the other side as well. And then once you do that, we are going to um, cut a slit down one of the panels, which I will show you. Okay, so now that you have your steps right here, you're just going to cut a straight line up. You're just making a slit. You're not cutting that square, nothing like that. You're just making it so that it is a flap and you can like kind of create a box style. And you're gonna do that again, just cut straight up, cut right there. Now you're gonna fold everything in and just glue it together. Um, I wasn't filming in frame, my camera must have bumped, but here I am kind of just holding it down, assembling it. Um, kind of like a box would be except for it doesn't have a back piece <laughs> but um just glue that down i would use hot glue because i felt like the wet glue you know you kind of got to force it and hold it down i was using 110 pound cardstock so it had some resistance to it but it still worked um it just took longer you know versus hot glue so anyway now you kind of have a box but it's actually just your pocket and this should fit perfectly on the inside panel of your little like book box thing and again i'm just going to use some glue if I was using hot glue, I would have worked with one side, glue it on, do a strand, you know, while it's halfway hanging on. But with wet glue, you can just do the whole thing, push it down and push all the sides down to kind of get it to grab. And then I was using my scissors because they were a little bit longer than the bone folder to kind of adhere the paper together in the nooks and crannies where I couldn't get and didn't want to shove my fat hand in there. So I'm just getting it to stick on all the edges. And here you go. You have your little book box file folder thingamabob i was inspired by a photo on instagram but uh, it was in another language and when it was translating it said it was for chocolate so i don't know <laughs> but yeah that's where i got this and i needed it to fit this die so i did some measurements and voila thank you guys for watching and tagging along we'll catch you guys on the next crafty video all right bye guys